What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here. We have a video on staying visible on your motorcycle by the great Egret. It's a really awesome video. Thank you for sending this in. Thank you for being a part of the DDFM crew and thank you for helping out beginners out there riding safely on their motorcycle. But guys, I want you to check out his channel. It's the link in the description and it's gonna be in the first comment. And uh, tell him what you think, tell me what you think about this and uh, I'll see you guys soon. everybody it's pretty foggy out today so what better time than now to talk about how to remain visible on the motorcycle so yeah, it's pretty foggy out right now mid-january 32 degrees and visibility is probably around quarter mile or less in some areas so yeah i am taking a chance riding the motorcycle today a because it's middle of winter people don't expect riders to be out there's salt and gravel sand on the road and B the fog adds to that danger but I've really put a big focus on safety when I ride my motorcycle so I feel confident that I'll remain safe even in these conditions so here are some tips for you to do as well so these are in no way in order of importance except the very last one so watch until the very end so you can hear the very last one because that is in my opinion the most important tip to remain visible on a motorcycle and a disclaimer, these are suggestions. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't follow all of these tips that I'm gonna give you, but these are tips that you can utilize to remain visible on the motorcycle. So the first one is use your horn. I know that sounds weird, you wanna remain visual and you're utilizing a sound technique. But if you feel somebody doesn't see you at an intersection or another area, just give two quick beeps on the horn, somebody will turn their head. Use this tip with caution though, because sometimes you don't want somebody turning their head and swerving into your lane. Like if they're riding alongside of you and you're in their blind spot, don't go and beep the horn, because they'll turn their head and possibly swerve into your lane. Use it more at intersections, when somebody's turning right, say up at this intersection, into your lane, and you think that they don't see you, they start rolling, like this red truck here. If I think he didn't see me, like right now I just give two quick beeps, but I think he sees me. But if I was in this Prius's blind spot right now, which I'm kind of approaching, it wouldn't be wise for me to beep the horn. They would turn their head to their left and potentially turn into my lane. In fact, I want to turn right up here, so I'm actually going to get out of his blind spot, get behind him. But he did see me because I kept out of his blind spot. So another tip that you can utilize to remain visible on the motorcycle, especially in dark, adverse conditions like this, is make yourself visual. With bright colored clothing, bright helmet, bright gloves, I'm talking like neon bright or construction orange bright, so you can be seen. You can clearly see that I am not following this tip. I've chosen to not do that. And that's why these are suggestions. So the next tip related to that is your motorcycle. So if you ride a sport bike, a lot of sport bikes are visually bright. You can see them quite well. They've got bright colors, especially if you ride a, a Kawasaki with the Kawasaki green. But what I've done with my motorcycle is I've added additional things to it to make it more visual. So I've added LED lights, both in the front and back on the signals. So in the front, it's, it stays bright white when I'm not turning, and then it changes to bright orange when I'm turning. In the rear with the LED lights, when I uh, pull on the brake, either the front or rear, it lights up bright red. And when I do, when I'm at a stop light or stop sign and I think a car behind me doesn't see me, or when I'm slowing down and I think a car behind me doesn't see me, I'll go ahead and give two quick pulls on the brake just to, just to let them know I'm here. If I really think that they don't see me, I'll give a whole bunch of rapid uh, pulsate it on the brake just so it flashes, kind of grabs their attention a little bit more. Now in some states it's legal to have flashing lights when you brake, like really pulsate. 
But unfortunately, in my state, that's not legal. Otherwise, I'd probably utilize that. Now, I feel this last one, by far and away, is the most important. So if you've been watching my videos, I've said quite often that I believe it's my responsibility, no matter what the conditions or the drivers out there, it's my responsibility to remain safe on the motorcycle. So the most important way that you can remain visible on the motorcycle is by positioning yourself to be visible. So like this car turning right here, or turning left, excuse me, he is turning into my lane. If I was close to this van in front of me, being blocked by the van so he couldn't see me, he likely would have turned right after the van passed and hit me. But I'm holding back and I'm into the far left side of my lane. Here again, I'm holding back a little bit so cars on the other side of the lane can easily see me. I'm, and I'm leaving a lane cushion here. And I don't care if other drivers in other lanes pull in front of me. I'll just go ahead and pull back a little bit more. Most important thing for me is to pick my lane position to remain visual. While riding too, stay out of blind spots. You don't want people to pull in front of you who don't see you. So like this, I'm gonna get out of this guy's blind spot, position myself maybe right about here. I'm over to the left far enough where I feel that this white car can see me well enough. But still, I'm not entirely comfortable where I'm positioned here with this white car. So I'll take this lane, I'll take this curve here safely, and then I'll get out of his blind spot. So here, when I approach this intersection, I'm going to stay back far enough so I feel like cars in front can see me. And I'm not going to make this turn until I know this guy sees me. I think he sees me now. I'm going to go ahead and make my turn. It's a little foggy. I don't know if you can see the state capitol up there, but it looks kind of cool in the fog today. And I accelerated a bit there because I knew that white truck put his signal on and I wasn't in a position to brake. And if he didn't see me, he would have kept going. So I accelerated there, hoping that I could get out of his way. So it's not always about holding back, laying off the throttle. Sometimes you got to pull on the throttle to get out of danger or to make yourself more visible. So that's by far and away the most important way you can remain visual. And honestly, like a lot of other riders say, wear bright clothing, ride a bright bike. But if you don't use these lane positioning techniques, wearing bright clothing isn't gonna do a bit of good. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I appreciate it. If you learned something, go ahead and click on that like button. If you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I've got a lot of cool videos rolling out. I'll have a lot more new rider tips. I'll have a lot more with the Iron 883, some mods I'm gonna be making, Cafe Racer build series coming up. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button. As always, stay safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.